Hello everyone, this is Vinayak and uh, today I am going to solve you learning mathematics chapter 1.3, practice 1.3 and you need to just focus on your blackboard carefully that uh, your each and every question is very important for you and so try to focus on your practice 1.3 at your first question in your question number first write the number names write the number names of each of the flowing of each of the flowing Guys, in your question number first, just you have to find out the number names of the given numerals and you also knew that how to find the number names. So your uh, question number first, here is given 500, zero zero. it means you have to write 5000 in words and you know how to write 5000 in words so f i b e t h o u s a n d s 5000 thousands so this is your 5000 the word of these numerals so this is the number names of your 5000 and like this you have to solve your all remaining questions in your question number first i am going to solve your question number second and this is in your question number second write the numerals for each of the flowing write the numerals for each of the flowings so guys in your question number two you have to find out the numerals of the given number names so in your question number a here is represented 6200 6000 6200 so here is represented the number names is 6200 so you have to write in the numerals you know how to write the number names and how to convert the number names in the numerals so this is shown here 6000 it means 6 is 8000 place and 200 so 2 is 800 place and after that nothing is given here so you have to just put the two zeros of remaining places it's ones and tens places you have to put two zeros after two because here is sound in your number name six thousand and two hundred so your numeral is six thousand two hundred i'm going to solve your question number third in your question number third read and write the number sound on read and write the numbers sound on abacus so guys उस नंबर को लिखने हैं आपको या उसे शो करना है दिखाना है जो एबेकस पर 
सो किए गए हैं उस नंबर्स को आपको दिखाने हैं बनाने हैं सो आपका पहला है अबिकस तैयार है आपका बनाया गया है ये दूसरे ये तीसरे ये चौथे मैं आपको बता दूं कि ये चारों स्टिक्स इनके लिए मायने रखते हैं और ये चार स्टिक्स के मतलब हो गए कि ये न्यूमरल्स आपके चार डिजिट के होंगे चार अंकों के होंगे ये पहला स्टिक वंस प्लेस को शो करता है द सेकेंड स्टिक शूज इट्स टेंस प्लेस दिस थर्ड स्टिक शो इट्स हंड्रेड प्लेस एंड इट्स फोर्थ शूज थाउजेंड प्लेस सो At one's place, how many pearls included? There is only six pearls. At one's place, so you have to round the figure of pearls. In tens place, only two pearls denoted, and at hundred place, nothing is denoted. So you have to write zero here, and you can you may also write zero, and The fourth one is a thousand place. There is total eight pulse, so you need to just carry with you eight pulse. So, guys, this is the number of pulse, and it's first first stick, so it's one's place, and this is four. How many pulse? Here is five or six pulse shows. So here is six pulse. So this is six. It stands place. How many pulse? There is two. So it stands place. To put, uh, you have to put two. It's hundred place. Nothing is shown. So you have to put go with zero. And it's thousands place. Tot totally eight pulse are denoted. So your numerals is eight thousand twenty-six. Eight thousand twenty-six is your numerals, and this is the answer of your question number third. So you have to follow, found, you have to find out all your uh, questions answer, and I think you have. So I'm going for the next question. Your question number four. I think you will understand very well. So I'm going for your question number third. Sorry, fourth. In your question number four, so the numbers on abacus. So the number. Numbers on abacus. So, guys, you need to just show your numbers on abacus. You need to just show here the numbers. Your number is five thousand fifty, and you have to show in abacus. In your abacus, <coughs> in the abacus, it's first stick, so it's ones place. Its second stick, so is tens place, and its third, so is hundred place, and its fourth stick, so is thousand place. So you can count very easily from that method. So it's one place. Have zero pulses, so nothing put it, and its tens place here is shown five pulses. So you need to make the figure of five pulses, and its third stick, which is a hundred place, nothing is shown. So leave that stick with nothing. So in last, at least its thousands place. Five denoted, so you have to make the five pulse on the sticks. 
So this is you. This is the pulse that I'm put it on your abacus and you have to put the pulse and you have to put your all the numerals in this way on your abacus so i think you can understand and b and c is your homework and you need to try to find out the answer so i'm going for your question number fifth and your question number fifth is write the number sorry write the expanded form of the flowing numbers so write the expanded form expanded form of the flowing numbers So you have to just find out the expanded form of these numerals. Your first question is, your given numeral is 6134. So you have to find out the expanded form of this numeral. And guys, I will tell you that the expanded form means Vistarit Roop. एक्सपेंडेड फॉर्म का अर्थ ही होता है कि आप किसी भी संख्या को विस्तार से लिखें तो इनको तीन तरीके से लिखा जाता है लेकिन जो पहले मैं आपको मेथड बताऊंगा उस तरीके से आपको इसके विस्तार करने हैं जो कि थोड़े शॉर्ट है सो so, इसके विस्तारित रूप को तीन तरीकों से लिखा जा सकता है सबसे पहले इनके प्लेस को आपको पढ़ना है प्लेस को जानने हैं हियर in your numerals four is sound here eight uh, ones place three is eight tens one is eight hundred and six is eight thousand place so you can write here six thousand plus one is eight hundred place so you can write one hundred three is eight tens place so you can write thirty and four is eight once place so you can write four this is the expanded form of this these numerals and you have find your expanded form in three ways so look it on your blackboard this is the second way six is eight thousand place so you can calculate it six into one thousand because six is eight thousand place and after that one is 800 place so you can calculate it 1 into 100 which is 800 place then you need to put the symbol of it 3 is 8 tens place so 3 into 10 then 4 is 8 ones place so 4 into 1 it means 4 into 1 4 3 into 10, 30, 1 into 100, 100, and 6 into 1000, 6000. This means this is the same answer, but it is the second way to find out the expanded form. And its third way is you can write 6000, 6000 plus. 100 100 plus 3 is 8 tens place so, so you need to just write 3 tens 4 is 8 ones place so 4 ones you can also write in these ways so you have three ways to write the expanded form of any numerals but your answer is your first term which is very easy to write so this is the three ways to find out the expanded form of any numerals so in your in the answering you have to just carry with your 
with this type of expanded form which is very easy to write and next one I am going for your question number sixth in your question number sixth write the number you have to just find out the number in that question what will have the number so here is some six thousand plus seven hundred plus four and you need to just this is the expanded form of futures of any numeral so this is the expanded form and you have to just find out the numerals of this expanded method so what will your numerals 6 is 6000 here is on 6000 so you have to put go with that 6 is a thousand place 700 so here so 7 is a hundred place and after that just only 4 is shown here so it means one place is remaining nothing so here you can put the 0 at the tens place because 4 is alone here so 4 is you have to put your 4 is at ones place and 7 is at hundred place so here is only 0 is for good to put it so your numeral is 6704 and after that you have to solve your all remaining questions I am going for your question number 7 which is underlying mistakes So guys, I am going to solve your question number 7. In your question number 7, here is underline mistakes and do corrections. So, at your question number 7. Underline mistakes. And do corrections. Guys, in that question, you have to underline the mistakes of the given questions, and you need to just if the if you in you if your question was wrong, so you need to just write it in phrase way and right way. So here is soon. At the first question, in numeral ways 7913, and in answerable ways, here is sounding word 79000. So guys here are the number names is going wrong so here your number name is 79,013 but your numeral says 7,913 so in that way your number name is going wrong so you have to just put the underline in it and just you you have to go to correction for the correction of this question and you have to write the right answer of this question so here is 7913 so you have to write in words 7000 
913 so guys here is 7913 is the right answer so you have to go for the all questions of in you included in your practice 1.3 so you have to solve your practice 1.3 focusly. So you need to carry with your practice 1.3 and try to focus and try to command on all questions very well and properly. Try to solve it each and every questions. So guys, this is Vinayak and you can watch my videos on YouTube and today I am going to solve you practice 1.4 of class 2 in learning mathematics. In your first question, you need to compare the both numbers in your question number first. Compare numbers. Compare numbers. and put smaller than greater than a symbol of equal to so guys in that question you need to carry on with these symbols this is the three symbols you need to use here so guys you know which symbol is greater than others or which is the smaller symbol and which is the sign of equal to you also know that and also i think you have learned about in your previous classes that what is greatest what is greater what is smaller and what is equal to other numbers so you need to solve your first question this is 3769 and your second number is 3760 so guys this is the given numbers and your number first is 3769 and your next number is 3760 so you also knew that know that the which number is larger than others so here if we identify the which number is larger then we see here in it once place here is put at zero and in these numerals here is put at nine in that numerals in it is a times place here is put at six in that numerals here is also put at six and after that 7 and 3 is in the both numerals so here we easily find out the 307 sorry 3769 is greater than 3760 and you can also say that you may also say that the 3760 is smaller than 3000 769 so guys in that way you have to solve your all the remaining questions of uh, question number first I'm going for your question number second and in your question number second you have to arrange each of the flowing questions in ascending and descending order so arrange each of the flowing in ascending and descending order descending order 
So, guys, here in your question number 2, you need to just solve in these questions in two ways. You have to write your answers in ascending and descending uh, up both ways. So, at first, what is at your numbers? 1211 is your first number then 1212 is your second number third number is 1122 and then your fourth one is 211 so guys you have to write in these numerals in ascending order first but before it i will tell you that the two important methods I will talk about the two important methods what this is uh, guys your ascending order you also know that your ascending order is also said to be increasing order and it means smaller smallest to largest small smallest to largest so you need to just carry with your numerals smallest to largest and in your descending order you need to just put your all the numerals in largest to smallest forms so this is the two ways to make your questions solve descending order this is your descending order and you need to just first solve at first you have to solve in the uh, your all the nu numerals in the columns and the rows in ascending order so in ascending order you all know that we have to solve in we have solved our all the numerals in smaller to largest way so at first you need to put very small number first then which number is bigger than first one which number is begin bigger 1122 then which number comes up 1211 1211 and at least at the end your last number is 1212 this is your ascending order and descending is the opposite word of ascending so you can calculate your all the numbers in opposite way in the descending order you have to put your all the numbers in pos opposite way so at first in descending order guys I will tell you that the descending order is also said to be decreasing order it means largest to smallest so you have to write first your largest number which is very largest among all these so 1212 is largest one after that which is place so 1211 is less than 1212 then which number comes up 1122 and at least in last 211 is the smallest number in these numerals so this is the two ways to finding your answer and in your question number two you have to solve your all those remaining questions from B to F so in this way I'm going for your question number third which is the encircle the smallest number in each of the flowing so it your question number third encircled the smallest number smallest number 
in each of the flowing So guys, in that question, you have to find out the smallest one and you have to identify with the circle. So, your first question is, in that rouse, which number is smallest one? Your first one is 3497. 3947 3347 and 3449 so this this is the ra of your numbers and all the numbers you know how to count your numbers and get the identification of which number is largest and which one is smaller or smallest so this is 3497 and this is 3947 this is 3347 this is 4490 oh, this is 3449 so 3347 is smaller among all so 3347 is smaller among all these numbers so you need to just identify and point the answer of all these questions of question number third and I'm going for question number fourth in circle the largest number So guys, I'm going for your question number fourth, which is says us to encircle the largest number in each of the flowing. Your question number four says to us encircle the largest number. Encircle the largest number. in each of the flowing guys as you find out the answer of question number three like in that question you have to find out just opposite like you have to just find out or circle in circle the largest one of that these numerals in your first question which numeral is larger, largest one among all so your first numeral is 7046 this is first one and your second one is 4607 third one 7604 and at least in last 7406 so guys you have to just find out the which number is largest one and you need to encircle that number encircle do encircle around that number so which number is largest so you need to count so this is 7046 this is 4607 this is 7604 this is 7406 so which number is largest one this is 7604 is the largest one among all these numbers so aapne abhi dekha ki kis tarah se 
बड़े नंबर्स को सबसे बड़ी संख्या को इन सर्कल करके आपको उसके आंसर को निकालने थे घेरे लगा करके उस रॉस में जितने भी न्यूमरल्स दिए गए थे उनमें से आपको सबसे बड़े संख्याओं को घेर करके ये बताना था कि कौन सा न्यूमरल बड़ा है अब मैं आपके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन के लिए जा रहा हूँ जो कि आपका क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव है विच प्लेस वैल्यू विल डिटरमाइन द लार्जर नंबर बिटवीन द फ्लोइंग पेयर्स इन दो जोड़ों के बीच कौन सा प्लेस वैल्यू है जो कि एक दूसरे को एक दूसरे को बताता है कि वो बड़ा है या फिर एक दूसरे से भिन्न है सो विच प्लेस इन योर क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्थ विच प्लेस वैल्यू विच प्लेस वैल्यू You also know how to find out the place value because I told you in your previous class, maybe in chapter 1.2, have so place value will determine. the larger number between the flowing pairs so you have to determine the the place value of the both pairs so which number is different from others if you compare the two numbers your first number is 3045 345 and your second one is 7645 this is the two number you have given and you need to just which place is different from others so in the both numbers you can easily identify its one's place is denoted by 5 both and its tens place is denoted by 4 and its hundred place is denoted by the different numbers 6 and 3 and its thousands place again denoted by the same number so its hundred place is different in that pair so you need to just put the hundred because its hundred place means 300 and its hundred place means 600 which is larger so 7645 is largest one so your answer is 100 place so in that way you have to find out all the remaining questions of your practice 1.4 and try to find out all the answers of you all questions try to work hard on your learning mathematics and to solve your all questions go for it with consciously go for it guys best of luck this is your chapter 1.4 i am going for next one hello everyone this is vinayak and today i am going to solve you practice set 1.5 and before you're solving practice 1.5 you have many problems in your uh, in your exercise practice 1.5 so you have to focus on your blackboard properly so guys focus on me and your blackboard in your question number first form the greatest and the smallest four digit number you have to form the greatest and 
smallest four digit number using the given digits using the given digits without repeating the digits without repeating the digits Guys, in your question number first here, you need to just find out the greatest and the smallest four-digit number of the given numerals and of the given digits. You have to just make the four-digit smallest and the largest numeral. You have to just form. So, at your question number first, you have given some digits like three. Four, one, and two. This is the four digits you have given, and with the four digits, you have to form greatest four digits and the smallest four digit number. So, your greatest four digit number is greatest four digit number and the smallest. smallest four digit number you have to just form two types of number four digits smallest and four digit greatest with these digits you have to make so how will you make with any given digits how will you form to make the greatest one and the smallest one Look it on your blackboard. You have given the digits. In these digits, you have to find out uh, the greatest one for the greatest digit. Four is one of the greatest number in these given digits. So, after four, three is smaller. Then two comes up and then one so this is your greatest number forming with the given digits three four one and two so this is the greatest digit of four digit number this is the first question answer and if you have to form the same digit the smallest number with the same digits then you have to find the smallest one of the given digits one is very smaller smallest so you have to put first one then two comes up then three comes up and at least in last four comes up so 1234 is the smallest four digit number of the given digit and 4,321 is the greatest four-digit number of the given digit of your first question. And so guys, as the I'm, I had solved this question, you have to solve is likely. So guys, you must solve your question B to E of your question number first I'm going for your question number second this is round up the flowing numbers to the nearest tens round off the following numbers following numbers to the nearest tens to the nearest tens so guys 
here is you have to just find out the nearest tens of the given numerals so your given numerals is first numeral is 3462 this is the given numeral and you need to just convert it in the nearest 10 so what is the total number of that so guys if you have to find out the nearest 10 of any number so you need to just focus it that the which number is considered as at one's place so here is t unit 2 denoted अगर आपको nearest ten निकालने हैं तो इसके लिए मैं आपको एक चीज अच्छी तरीके से समझा दूं कि अगर आपको nearest ten निकालने हैं तो उस nearest ten को निकालने के लिए चाहे वो नंबर कितने भी बड़े हों उसमें आपको इसके ones places को देखने काफी जरूरी हो जाते हैं इसके लिए काफी महत्वपूर्ण है इसका ones place जिस पर कि two denote किया गया है put किया गया है अगर यही two three four वन तक होता अगर यही टू फोर के अंतर्गत में आए यहाँ पर वन हो टू हो थ्री हो फोर हो तो ये डिजिट नियरेस्ट में नियरेस्ट टेन में सिक्सटी की ओर चला जाता क्योंकि इसमें टेन प्लेसेस इसके बदल जाते जब भी हम किसी भी अंक का नियरेस्ट टेन निकाल रहे हो तो उस अंक में उसके नियरेस्ट टेन बदले जाते हैं अगर हम किसी अंक में किसी बड़े संख्या में अगर उनके नियरेस्ट हंड्रेड्स निकाल रहे हो तो उसमें उसके हंड्रेड प्लेसेस चेंज हो जाते हैं अगर हम किसी भी संख्याओं के थाउजेंड या टेन थाउजेंड निकालने हो हम लोगों को तो उसमें उसके थाउजेंड और टेन थाउजेंड प्लेसेस चेंज किए जाते हैं बिल्कुल इसी तरीके से इन सवाल में नियरेस्ट टेन निकालने हैं तो उसके टें प्लेस जो हैं वो चेंज होंगे तो इसके टेंस प्लेसेस को आपको चेंज करने के लिए आपको सबसे पहले ये गौर करना होगा कि इसके वंस प्लेस पर क्या है अगर वंस प्लेस पर वन टू फोर के अंतर्गत ये चार डिजिट्स आते हैं तो इसके नियरेस्ट टेन जो है थ्री थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड सिक्सटी हो जाएंगे लेकिन यही नियरेस्ट टेन अगर इसके वंस प्लेस पर फाइव या फाइव से ऊपर का कोई अंक हो तो वही नियरेस्ट टेन 70 की ओर इसे आगे लेकर के चला जाएगा जैसे अभी इसके वंस प्लेस पर 2 है जो कि 5 या 5 से कम है तो इसके नियरेस्ट 10 60 की ओर चले जाएंगे और यहाँ पर अंक बनेगा 3600 सॉरी 400 3460 फोर क्योंकि इसके वंस प्लेस जो है वह बिल्कुल उस पर 2 है अगर इनके वंस प्लेस पर 5 या 5 से अधिक होता तो यही सिक्सटी 70 में बदल जाता तो बिल्कुल इसी तरीके से हम लोग इसके वंस प्लेस को गौर से देखते हैं जिससे कि इसके टेंस प्लेसेस बदले जाते हैं सो गाइस दिस इज योर सॉल्विंग आंसर ऑफ योर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू एंड आई एम गोइंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट वन यू हैव टू सॉल्व योर ऑल दो रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू सो आई एम गोइंग फॉर योर क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड विच इज राउंड ऑफ द फ्लोइंग नंबर टू द नियरेस्ट हंड्रेड In your question number third, round off the flowing, round off the flowing numbers to the nearest hundreds. सो so गैस इसमें आपको जो दिए गए न्यूमरल्स होंगे आपके जो दिए गए संख्या होंगे उनमें आपको अब नियरेस्ट हंड्रेड्स निकालने हैं तो इसमें आपको इसके हंड्रेड प्लेसेस को चेंज करने होंगे इसके हंड्रेड प्लेसेस को फाइंड आउट करना होगा सो so यहाँ पर आप गौर करेंगे कि इस तरह से इसके हंड्रेड प्लेसेस को फॉर्म बदला जाता है फाइंड आउट किया जाता है पहला जो दिया गया क्वेश्चन है फोर 4,876. So guys, in that question, you have to change its hundred place because you have to find out the nearest hundreds of this numeral. So you need to just change its hundred place. But 
Here in that question you need to focus on its ones and tens place that the which number is considered at ones and tens place. So guys if the numbers are larger than 50 here is look at here guys if the numbers are bigger than 50 55 56 or to up to 100 so this number comes up in 900 if the numbers are less than 50 at it once and tens place if the numbers are less than 50 in it once and tens place so this number is less than 100 it means 800 means 800 so guys अगर आपको 4876 के nearest hundred निकालने हो तो आपको यहाँ पर इसके ones और tens place पर focus करने होते हैं जिसमें ones और tens place आपको देखना होता है कि क्या ये ones और tens place 50 या फिर 50 से अधिक है अगर इसके ones place 50 या 50 से अधिक होंगे 55 होंगे 51 होंगे 50 होंगे 52 होंगे तो फिर इसका सौवा जो स्थान है हंड्रेडवा जो प्लेस है इसका वो 900 में तब्दील हो जाएगा आगे की ओर बढ़ जाएगा जब ये अंक 50 या फिर 50 से अधिक होंगे जैसे यहाँ पर अभी 76 दिया गया है तो इसके नियरेस्ट 100 900 में चले जाएंगे लेकिन जब यही अंक 50 से कम होगा 50 से कम होगा लेस देन 50 लाइक 49 भी होगा 48 भी होगा 44 भी होगा 801 से लेकर के 849 तक के अंक हमेशा ही 800 के करीबी होंगे तो उसमें हम लोगों को हमेशा ही 4800 लिखना पड़ सकता है अगर ये अंक 50 से कम हो तब लेकिन अगर यही अंक 50 से अधिक हो जाते हैं इसके ones और tens place पे तो हमें हम इसके hundred places को find out करना काफी आसान हो जाता है यही 800 वां place 900 में बदल जाता है ये है इसके nearest hundred क्योंकि ये इसके ones और tens place fifty से बड़े हैं इसलिए इसके hundred place आगे की ओर बढ़ गए अगर इसके ones और tens place fifty से कम होते तो उसके hundred place जो हैं बिल्कुल same रह जाते या फिर कम होते आगे नहीं बढ़ते ज़्यादा नहीं होते तो ये थे आपके question number third अब मैं आपके अगले question की ओर आगे बढ़ूँगा जो है आपका question number fourth I am going for your next question to find out the question number 4 so guys it least in last I am going to solve your practice 1.5 last question round of the flowing numbers to the nearest thousand so in your last question question number fourth here is given round of the flowing numbers round of the flowing numbers to the nearest thousand to the nearest thousand so guys you have to just find out the given numerals nearest thousands so your first question is 4526 your given numerals and you have to write uh, find out its thousands place nearest thousand so to find out the nearest thousand you have to focus on its thousands place that the which number is proceeding is its thousand place here is denoted by 4 
the thousands place is generated by four and after that you have to just focus on after its thousands place which number is given given so here is 526 which is larger than which is greater than 500 guys if you have to find out the thousands place uh, nearest thousand of any numeral so you need to focus on its hundred ones tens and hundred places that with digit it put it on its places so here is put it 526 which is upper than 500 more than which is more than 500 so if the numbers are more than 500 500 or more than 500 so this numeral is going to be 5000 here is change only thousands place only because you have to find out the nearest thousands so it's thousands place change only so if the numbers are less than 500 like 499 here is if the numbers are 4,499, so its nearest thousand is 4,000. So guys, if the numbers are less than 500 here, so here is the nearest thousand of 426 is 4000 so you need to just focus on one thing that agar aapko 1000 place badalne hain ya phir nearest 1000 nikalna hai to iske liye aapko kuch cheezon par dhyan dene hain ki 4526 yahan par diya gaya hai to iske aapko ikai dahai aur sekra matlab ones tens aur hundred places ko dhyan se dekhne hain ki is places par 500 ya 500 se adhik agar number ho 500 या फिर 500 से अधिक अगर नंबर हो तो ये नंबर इसके थाउजेंड्स प्लेस से एक अधिक बढ़ जाते हैं मतलब 4000 है तो 5000 हो जाते हैं लेकिन यही नंबर अगर 500 से कम हो लेस देन 500 हो मतलब 499 हो या फिर 498 हो या फिर 101 हो तो यही नंबर 4000 का 4000 ही रह जाता है जैसे कि मैं आपको बताता हूं एक दिया गया नंबर मान लीजिए माना कि ऐसा मान के साथ चलना है ये बस समझाने के लिए है कि अगर आपको दिया गया नंबर है 4000 8322 और इस न्यूमरल में आपको इसके थाउजेंड प्लेस निकालने हैं थाउजेंड निकालना है थाउजेंड स्थान तो इसके लिए आपको करना क्या है इसके नेक्स्ट थ्री अंकों को देखने हैं जो कि हंड्रेड टू वंस प्लेसेस तक है सो so, इसके वंस पे टू टेंस पे टू और हंड्रेड पे थ्री है सो so, इसके हंड्रेड प्लेसेस काफ़ी मायने रखते हैं जो कि फाइव हंड्रेड या फिर फाइव हंड्रेड से अधिक होने चाहिए अगर ये अंक फाइव हंड्रेड या फाइव हंड्रेड से अधिक होता तो इस एट के जो नियरेस्ट थाउजेंड होते वो नाइन होते लेकिन यही अंक जो कि फाइव से कम है इसके 100 प्लेस पे 500 से कम है जो कि 322 है तो इसका जो नियरेस्ट थाउजेंड होगा वो 8000 होगा ये आप ध्यान रखेंगे जब भी 500 या फिर 500 से अधिक होगा तो उसके नियरेस्ट थेन नियरेस्ट थाउजेंड बिल्कुल आगे की ओर बढ़ जाएंगे और अगर 8000 है तो 9000 में तब्दील हो जाएगा वो लेकिन अगर वो 500 से कम है 499 भी है अगर तो वो अंक 8000 है तो 8000 ही रह जाएगा तो बिल्कुल यही है इनके नियरेस्ट 10 100 और 1000 अगर आपको नियरेस्ट 10 100 या 1000 की कड़ियों को समझना है तो इसके लिए आपको इस पर वर्क करने होंगे और एक ही तरह के कई सवालों को हल करने होंगे बस आपको एक चीज का ध्यान रखना है कि अगर आपको किसी का नियरेस्ट टेंस निकालना है तो उसके वंस प्लेस को गौर से देखने हैं कि वो प्लेस उसके वंस प्लेस पांच 
या पाँच से अधिक हो तो उसके टेंस प्लेस बदल जाते हैं आगे बढ़ जाते हैं लेकिन वही अंक अगर उसके वंस प्लेस पाँच से कम हो तो उसके टेंस बिल्कुल सेम रह जाते हैं तो अगर अगर आपको नियरेस्ट हंड्रेड निकालना हो तो नियरेस्ट हंड्रेड में हमेशा आपको फोकस करना है उसके टेंस प्लेस पे कि उसके टेंस प्लेस अगर पचास या पचास से अधिक है तो उसके हंड्रेड प्ले प्लेस बदल जाते हैं लेकिन वहीं उसके टेंस प्लेस पचास से कम हैं तो उसके हंड्रेड प्लेस सेम रह जाते हैं बिल्कुल उसी तरीके से अगर आपको उसके नियरेस्ट थाउजेंड निकालने हैं तो उसके नियरेस्ट थाउजेंड में हमेशा ही आपको फोकस करना है कि उनके हंड्रेड प्लेस जो है वो हमेशा ही फाइव हंड्रेड या फिर फाइव हंड्रेड से अधिक हो तो उसके थाउजेंड प्लेस आगे की ओर बढ़ जाते हैं अगर एट हैं तो नाइन हो जाएगा सेवन है तो नाइन एट हो जाएगा तो आगे की ओर बढ़ जाते हैं थाउजेंड प्लेस बदल जाते हैं अगर फाइव से ऊपर हैं तब लेकिन अगर 500 से कम है और आपको 1000 प्लेस उसके बदलने हैं तो वो 1000 प्लेस सेम रह जाता है सो गाइज एज यू ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन यू नीड टू सॉल्व यू ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन कॉन्सियसली एंड ट्राई टू कीप खाम यो माइंड एंड ट्राई टू फोकस ऑन योर लर्निंग मैथमेटिक्स टू सॉल्व यू जस्ट नीड टू सॉल्व यू ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन दैट गिव इन ऑन योर बुक एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व your examples first and try to look up your example first on your book so guys go for it and try to solve your all those questions problems go for it guys best of luck hello everyone this is vinayak and i'm going to solve your practice 1.6 get ready for your practice 1.6 and try to understand each and every questions of your chapters in your practice set 1.6 your first question is fill in the blanks and in your fill in the blanks your first question is a it a here is denoted 10 more than 10 more than Six, three, one, six. and then this is put it sign uh, guys so guys how will you fill the answer of this question i will tell you that uh, in the fill in the blanks here is shown 10 more than 6316 agar hum yahan par kehta hai 10 6316 mein agar 10 aur jod diye jaye 10 more than more matlab 8 plus matlab adhik aur less matlab कम मतलब सब्ट्रैक्ट सो जहाँ पर मोर रहे उसमें आपको उतने मोर कर देने हैं सो so, अगर हम टेन मोर देन की बात करें तो सिक्स थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन प्लस टेन भी आप कर सकते हैं या फिर डायरेक्ट भी लिख सकते हैं अगर आप टेन करना चाहें तो सिक्स वन वन टू इसके टेंस प्लेस चेंज होंगे जहाँ सिक्सटीन है वो ट्वेंटी सिक्स हो जाएगा और सिक्सटी थ्री के सिक्सटी थ्री ही रह जाएंगे सो योर आंसर इज टेन मोर देन सिक्स थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन सिक्स थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज योर आंसर सो यू हैव टू सॉल्व ऑल रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम बी टू एच लाइक दिस one more question i am going to solve of this i am going to solve your question number h which is very hard for you 1000 less than 8096 1000 less than 8096 तो मैंने आपको बताया कि जहाँ पर मोर रहे उसका अर्थ होता है ज़्यादा उतना उससे अधिक 
और जहां पर लेस होता है उसका अर्थ होता है कम सो थाउजेंड लेस देन एट थाउजेंड नाइन्टी सिक्स इसमें आपको थाउजेंड घटाने हैं तो यहां पर आप इसको थाउजेंड घटा सकते हैं अपने रफ में अगर आप अपने रफ में चाहे तो इसको थाउजेंड को घटा सकते हैं इसमें से सो एट थाउजेंड नाइन्टी सिक्स माइनस वन थाउजेंड कर सकते हैं जब इक्वल करेंगे तो जीरो में जीरो जाएगा जीरो सॉरी नाइन्टी सिक्स में से घटाना घटाना है सो सिक्स में जीरो सिक्स नाइन जीरो नाइन जीरो 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 और एट माइनस वन सेवन सो योर आंसर इज सेवन थाउजेंड नाइन्टी सिक्स यू हैव ऑल्सो रिमेंबर टू टर्म्स इन दैट योर क्वेश्चन दैट लेस देन मीन्स सब्ट्रैक्ट मीन्स कम एंड मोर देन मीन्स टू एट मीन्स अधिक जस्ट द टू टर्म्स एंड आई एम गोइंग फॉर योर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू सो गाइज इन योर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इन योर प्रैक्टिस सेट वन पॉइंट सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर टू यू हैव टू जस्ट कलर द पोर्शन विच इज इन इवेन नंबर विथ द रेड कलर्स यू हैव टू कलर विद द रेड कलर्स इन द पोर्सन ऑफ इवेन नंबर्स and you have to color with green colors in the portion of odd number you also know that which number is odd and which number is even i'm going for you for the important methods that which number the numbers which are counted in pairs or started with 0 2 4 6 8 this number is also always known as even number you have to just remember one thing that the number starts with 0 2 4 6 8 that number is always said to be even number and that number which always starts with 1 3 5 7 9 9 these all numbers are called odd numbers and the numbers that cannot be counted in pairs or cannot be divisible by 2 so this is your second question's answer and you have to color with the portions of even number with red color and you have to color with the odd number with your green color in your second question so guys go for it and solve your all those questions in your chapter 1.6 i am going for the next practice hello everyone this is vinayak and today i am going to solve your practice set 1.7 and you need to just focus on your blackboard and try to focus on the roman numbers and you need to just learn all the roman numerals up to 100 and you need to just focus on your no roman numeral for your chapter practice 1.7 if you need to if you want to solve your practice 1.7 you need to just learn all your roman numerals so at first you need to remember this roman words and i'm going for your question number first to solve it in your question number first write the hindu arabic numerals for the following so write the 
Hindu, Arabic, numerals, for the flowings, So guys, in your first question, you have to write the Hindu Arabic numerals. You also know that because we always write uh, or solve our numbers in this ways. So you have to convert Roman numbers in Hindu Arabic numerals. This is given X to I, which means x means 10 or 2i means 2 so here is the number made 10 plus 2 12 so at first look at your roman number here is sound x it means 10 and after that 2 it means 10 plus 2 it means 12 so what is the Roman in 12, x2, 12, and in Hindu Arabic numerals, we say 1, 2, 12. So this is the answer of the first. I'm going to solve your next question. L, what is the meaning of L, Roman number? L means 50. It means 50. So you need to just remember that point. L means 50. So guys, I'm going for your question number second. It says write the Roman numerals for the flowings. Write the Roman numerals. for the followings so guys in your question number two you have to just write the roman numerals of these numbers and you also know that how to write the roman numbers of given any numerals or Hindu Arabic numerals in your first question 37 is denoted but 37 is very easy to me but I'm going to write in the Roman numerals ways so how can we write 37 in Roman ways at first you have to write the Roman number of 3, 30. So the Roman number of 30 is triple X. This is the Roman number of 30. And after that, 7 is denoted. So what is the Roman number of 7? B, I, I is the Roman number of 7. So with it, you have to add B, I, I. This is the Roman number of 37. So guys, like that, you have to write all the Roman numerals of your question number second. I'm going for the next one. So in your question number third, what is saying here? Write the Hindu Arabic numerals for the flowings. Write the Hindu Arabic Arabic numerals for the followings. So guys, in your question number third, you have to just find out the Hindu Arabic numerals of these Roman words. So at first, and your question number A, X, L, B is denoted. It means 
XL means 40 and V means 5. It means 45 plus XII. X means 10 or 2 means 2. It means 12 and it means XL means 40 and B means 5. That means 45 plus 12. Write the Hindu Arabic numerals for the flowings. हो गया है सर बस थोड़ा सा है लगभग दो क्वेश्चन और ऑन So guys, I will tell you the Hindu Arabic numerals of these two Roman numeral, Roman numbers. These two Roman numbers are, your first Roman numbers are XLB. It means XL means 40 and B means 5. That means 45 plus XII. It means 12. X means strains and II means 2. So it means 12. So you need to calculate it and 8 with each other so 45 plus 12 how many added here is if you calculate the 45 plus 12 you can get 57 the you answer because it means 40 and it means sorry it means 45 and it means 12 so I could calculate, I could calculate the 45 plus 12 equal to 57. So I'm going for the last, last one comparing by using smaller than, greater than and or equal to the last question of question uh, of chapter 1.7. So guys, in your question 4, compare by using, compare by using smaller than smaller than greater than Oh, or equal to these are the three time balls you have given so you have to you should use these three time balls in these questions so you have to go for it and at your first question XLII -I. it means X means 10 L means if we calculate x plus l it means 40 so xl means 40 plus 2 42 so in between this is given and upside 42 is given so it is equal or not so you have just now this with symbol is put it here because it means xl means 40 or 2 means Two. It means 42, so 42 and 42 is equal among each other. So this is the equal. I'm solving just one more 
and this is the up next one your question number B and this is X B triple I X by B means X means 10 B means 5 it means 10 plus 5 plus 3 it means 10 5 15 3 18 18 or on either side on the opposite side 17 is represented so which is bigger 18 is larger than 17 so here we could find the sound sound that 18 is greater than 17 or you can also say that 17 is smaller than 18 so guys this is your chapter 1.7 and you have to solve your up next page page 28 with your own self with your itself miscellaneous practice you have to solve your each and every questions focusly and consciously properly so uh, all the questions are very easy to solve in your page number 28 so guys go for it and try to solve you all the questions in your chapter first your chapter first is ended very well and you have to just focus each and every questions on consciously and try to be ener uh, energetic and do hard work for your mathematics go for it best of luck